Hello there, beautiful people. It's summer 2016, which means it's time for Autodesk to release Maya 2017, the latest version of their awesome 3D modeling and animation software. In this video, I'll show you how you can install Maya 2017 on up to two devices for free by signing up for an educational license. The first thing you need to do is go to the Autodesk Education website. I'll put a link in the video description, or you can just Google Autodesk Education as I've done here. This will take you to the Education Community site, and you'll see a big list of software that you can download for free on an educational license. Scroll down a little to find Maya, and give it a little click. You'll now be on the Maya download page, but before you can download the software, you need to either sign in or create an account. It's absolutely free to sign up, and the Autodesk Education Community is a really helpful resource. So as well as free software, by signing up, you'll also get access to some really good learning materials. So signing up is a bit of a no-brainer, really. So if you don't already have an account, you need to click on Create Account and then fill in your details. You'll be asked which country your educational institution is in. I'm in the UK, so I'm choosing that. You'll then be asked about your educational role. I'm an educator, so I'm choosing that option. But if you're a student, you'll probably want to choose the student option. Once that's done, click Next. You'll then need to fill in your personal details. Make sure you use a real email address because you'll be sent a confirmation email containing a link which you'll need to click on to complete your registration. Agree to the terms and conditions and then click sign up. You'll now receive the confirmation email. Go to your inbox, find that email and then click the link to verify your account. Once you have your account, you can go back and sign in with the email address and password you just created. Next up, you need to select the version of the software that you want to download. You can see that Autodesk offer a few earlier versions as well as the latest. I'm upgrading today, so I'm choosing Maya 2017. You'll then select the operating system you're using and your language. You can now get the software installed. You'll usually just want to click on install now, but if you click on the little arrow to the right of the button, you'll see that there are some other options as well. If for some reason the install now option isn't working for you, I recommend trying the browser download option. Anyway, it's fine for me, so I'm selecting install now. Accept the license and service agreement and click install. A file will now be downloaded. Once it's done, open it. This is the installer. There will then be a small download and then the installer will open properly. In the installer, you can choose the option to install Maya on your computer. This screen lets you choose which components you want to install. I recommend installing both Maya and Arnold. Once you're happy with your selections, click on the install button. Now the installer will download and install everything needed. This is a pretty big download, so the time it takes will depend on your connection speed and how busy the Autodesk servers are. It downloaded everything in around 25 minutes for me, but I've sped it up in editing because I thought that would be a bit better than looking at an installer for 25 minutes. Once everything is installed, you'll be greeted with this confirmation screen. This tells you that you have successfully installed Maya 2017. You can now close the installer and open Maya you'll see that it automatically verifies your license and once that's done, you'll be good to go. That was easy, wasn't it? I hope you enjoy playing with this shiny new software. If you're new to Maya, then click on the link on screen for my introduction to Maya tutorial. This covers everything you need to know to get started and takes two to three hours to complete. I made it in Maya 2016, but it still works for 2017. If this video has helped you out, then please show me some love by hitting that thumbs up button below the video. I upload new videos regularly, including some damn fine tutorials on using Maya, so make sure you hit that subscribe button too if you want to see more videos like that. If you need any help or further information, then just drop a comment below the video. I read and respond to every comment I receive. And if you're studying 3D modeling or animation at school, college or university, then you might also be interested in my videos covering some of the fundamentals of 3D theory. Click the link on screen or in the video description to check those out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.